we often go hiking and spend time in the natural landscapes of the surrounding area, identifying different plants and birds, um, things in nature uh, that were often destroyed. Um, this time with family uh, allowed me to develop a lot of fond memories in the natural world, and it's this um, these these fond memories that really have influenced my artistic practice and. This practice of collecting and making art based on the natural world around me is what I chose to influence the body of work I created during my time here at Hunter University. Um, that body of work has um, culminated into my thesis exhibition, which is entitled Excavating Your Absence. Um, and that's where I really look at the metaphoric qualities that exist within both um, the mental landscape of our minds and the physical natural world that surrounds us. I find that both memories and elements of the natural world um, are ephemeral and they fade back over time, existing as both absent and present, remembered or forgotten. And it's this question and this use of the um, metaphor powers of art that fueled the work that I created. Um, I specifically spent time in um, Mill Springs recently. Uh, with my aunt, um, documenting the area behind her home. Um, my uncle, her husband, recently passed away um, in 2018, and it was that experience that really led to change how I interacted with the landscape. It became a way to remember these fond memories, and um, it, it made me feel as if um, my uncle was still, still present. So this panel actually uh, has been carved into the mountainside uh, through um, this small stream which trickles into a pond that we call Terry's Pond. Um, and it was through documenting this channel that led me to start considering the visual element of a stream um, and the erosive quality of water as a way to think about memory. So in order to explore this, I took plaster and branches I collected in this environment and I suspended them in clay. I poured liquid plaster on top, um, and what was left behind once the plaster dried and the clay was excavated are these uh, sculptures that when lined together represent the way memory shifts, ebbs, and flows. And it's my hope through the creation of this body of work that the 